whatever our girls go on and students go on to do, technology is going to be a part of their life. And either we can get involved and help them become shapers of that future, or we can stand back and let technology shape them. Today we're going to be doing a Maker of Change challenge about road safety. And you're going to be designing, coding and building a road safety solution that you can imagine using in your own journey to and from school. It was a really, really good lesson to teach. They take control of it right from the very beginning with a lesson like that. You have a variety of different tools that you can attach to the micro bit. We've got things like LED lights. We have uh, little servo motors. I thought it was quite challenging to think of an uh, original idea. There wasn't sort of a right or wrong answer. We have a barricade that goes down. Yeah. The barricade only lifts up when the sense of the motion of the car coming yeah. towards it. We want two micro bits on the roads that sort of sense the motion of the car. Yeah. As well as if we wanted to add a sort of barrier that closes down. We could do both. Yeah, we could do both. I think that we should use the micro bits and use it as something that oh, someone's going to yeah. wear. Like around their neck. Like a what? Or, or, yeah, or on their wristband. What the girls themselves said to me today was that they've been doing lots of learning about the rules of computer science and coding and today was one of the first times they'd had the chance to really put that into practice and to apply those rules. We're going to be using a website uh, called Make Code. This is going to be the site where you will actually do the coding of the micro bits. Of course we want to give our teachers and our girls confidence in, in operating in, in, in the world however it changes. But above all, if they love learning and they feel happy to take risks and give things a go, everything else comes from it. It doesn't matter if it goes wrong, it's about what you do after it goes wrong, how you adjust the programme. And that was what we saw with the girls. They'd try some bit of code, it didn't quite work, it didn't do what they wanted to do. They'd go through the code and go, oh yeah, that's because we've done so and so. While barrier equals 85, yeah. light on. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we need to get the lights working, we need to connect up the gates, and then we need to connect one of them up as a motion sensor. I haven't used microbits a lot before, so trying to figure out the different procedures that microbits have and what could work and what doesn't work is very challenging. When I connect these, the LEDs will start working. Okay. And then we'll also have our countdown so the people know when to cross and when not to cross. We have three scientists and residents. They are amazing individuals, all three of them. We're part of the big STEAM initiative. Um, at Wimbledon High School where we're looking to really marry the science and the arts. We're effectively bringing you know, real world knowledge into the school, working with the teachers to help deliver cross-curricular lessons. As things are becoming more and more automated, human beings are going to be more valuable in doing the things that machines can't do. Creative thinking, bringing emotion, and sort of the interdisciplinary play between machine and the human interface and how do they work together to solve problems. It was fantastic to see the girls really showing their own creativity and, and you know you think of creativity as a, as, a, as a visual thing but actually the coding side of it is just as creative. Children, which was our target audience, they prefer to do a game and be something a bit more interactive. Yes, yeah, so we have these little bracelets that they can wear and by pushing the different buttons you can get rewards and points for abiding by safety rules. We thought it would be good to create really big traffic lights so we thought that making them bold and clear would like show a message. You can like express yourself in a way because you have the freedom to do whatever you want with it. We talked about that growth mindset and this is a great way to actually build that. So you ready to try it out? Yay! <laughs> Amber? In red? Yay! <laughs> you know, they thought they couldn't do it, but they can. And they, they did. Um, and that very much um, speaks to the value of projects like this. At the classroom!